Science Central. At annual events like this Walk to Remember, families who lost babies to stillbirth gather in remembrance. But this year, many are also there in support of new bills introduced in Congress that would acknowledge these losses and address gaps in researching the causes. Harvard researcher Ruth Fretz has devoted her career to studying stillbirth. She supports the legislation which would create a national stillbirth registry. She says two-thirds of the estimated 28,000 stillbirths per year in the U.S. are unexplained. It is ten times more common than SIDS and many times there hasn't been a thoughtful analysis of why the baby died. The bills have provisions to raise awareness of early warning signs like decreased fetal movement. But other provisions, like standardizing autopsies after stillbirth, would help research the causes. When Susan and Andrew de Blasi lost a child to stillbirth in 2005, they declined an autopsy because they were told it would not reveal much. Fretch says without national standards, that's common. And so many times parents are left with so many questions, a lot of regret. Yeah, I beat myself up. I wonder what did I do wrong? And, and that's one of my reasons for being an advocate to try and find out why children are being lost. Advocates say the large turnout at events like these is a testament to that need. Brad Closa, Science Central News.